Honorable members, Parliament now is adjourned to 26 November at 2 p.m. Honorable members, Mr. Speaker. Honorable members, honorable member must be noticed by missing out in prayer now in the morning. You may pray. Thank you, Holy Father. Missing man, me no good la lively you. That's all today you appointed me, Lord. Make him this la better than me to thank you. This la week, I'm one la good la week. Where holiness, Pope, princes, he come to this la country. Lo last week, I'm on Monday. Let me go back. I'm to thank you, Lord, this la Heavenly Father. I'm sorry, I'm also, this la country and Christian country. Now we talk thank you to all the Christians inside the country. Only better than we sit long in. Now put him this country go under the global world. This la week too, all family in our country we have celebrating 49 years of anniversary of independence for Yumi. Bless them all, one one community, one one province, Lord district province in the one of my holy stuff. Bless them all and help them all as they prepare for the celebration. That's all our leaders, Lord, me bless up today, Lord, this la parliament. Lord, one blood important, what no God believe. Sponsored by all Narabla brother blame me opposition, which they got a right under the constitution. Now me bless up today, Lord, deliberate. That's all heavenly father, Lord, 22 national election. You yet given confidence of Pangu to appoint this la government. Now this la confidence is tough yet to come now. That's a law you allow him, no brother lo help. Obviously, no sponsoring word of no confidence. Where me play boom today, Lord, deliberate. Now whether this government of confidence by staff or word of no confidence by overtake him. This is stop la humbly today, Heavenly Father. Bless me, Lord, lead us one one law here today. Lord, walk him this and Lord, this Lord, parliament and by affect him 10 million people of this beautiful country of Papua New Guinea. May I ask him you? Look, shovel heart, let me blood, guide me blood, give me blood wisdom. So that our decision that by blood walk him and by for the best interest of this country, but not for individual alone. All same now, more word of knocking and motion now is stopped by me blood go inside. You must supersede him and work him this simply for the best interest of this country. Also, let me pray, Heavenly Father, bless us and bless the people of Papua New Guinea who are watching through all the mass media. So that one something we are working at this parliament, as the elected leaders, must go the right way for the interest of this country. Maybe I got a problem, that's a problem, and by solving when we have a good government. And also and today, me bla kambung, bless me bla, open heart blum bla. Now you yet come is tight now on bla it's part of the decision so that this and Lord Power Parliament today for the long term of this beautiful country. One of this love me pray and me ask him. All the brothers member of parliament joining me, one of global universal probably you me, our father. Today I'm a day where country you will await him. Since moon February, now it comes September now, now close to one year by finish. So the day you may come, not this a day now, let me ask you, Mr. Clark. Notice number 107. The member for Kiruna, good enough. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
Good morning, people of Papua New Guinea. Mr. Speaker, I move that this parliament has no confidence in the Prime Minister and a member for Taripori electorate. Honorable James Marape, and nominate the member for Finchafen Open electorate, Honorable Paita Rainbow, Rainbow Paita, to be elected Prime Minister of the Independent State of Papua New Guinea. Thank you. The question is that a question be put. Those in favor is aye. aye. What is your point of order, Honorable Member of Lomedang? Mr. Speaker, this is an important motion that's a constitutional motion under Section 1451A. A question we put to deny the opportunity to debate the motion is unconstitutional. Every member under the Constitution has the right to debate a motion, move a motion, and vote on a motion. So that is my point of order. Um, this motion can be debated, but in you know, is enough Arab. Question be put, he come. Now, Chair, you entertain him in his question be put. So, by you, we go straight now. Lord, this motion. Now, me rule, yeah? When I can rule you like me rule. Or when I have a little bit. Now, me rule, finish, yeah? So, you may now go straight to the motion. Yes, Honorable um, Member of the Wabek. When I point over the again. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this is the House of the People. You must allow, give time to people to stand up to debate. Our good leader of government business, Mr. Speaker, through you, he, he just uh, put in the, the a question we put without giving adequate time for us to debate. We know you have numbers. We, we know you have numbers, but there are pertinent issues that need to be. We need to tell you guys why you put in a vote of no confidence. A motion. A hey, uh, honorable member, orders, orders. Honorable member of Lowabek, through the chair. Chair, we need to make known to the people of this nation why we put in a vote of no confidence motion. Nukutol Manting or you just plain politics. Stop me seeing a lot of you may talk talk past time. Behind you, passing out to some little picking in your side. So, Mr. Mr. Speaker, can that opportunity be given to the leaders in the opposition to actually, you know, give our reasons for a vote of no confidence? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable, uh, honorable, uh, you wait for some. Honorable uh, member of the Wabek, point over W, I mean, one kind of point over W, honorable member of the Medeng. Uh, this is a point you'd like to talk about debate. Yes, I mean, through all some standing order, I'm talking about some. But he got question be put the companies now floor me and the chair and then now floor he talk right in his parliament. Now, me like talk long this law give me a point blue long country masave. You think country no sabe? Country only sabe pinis. Establish newspaper, establish social media and all this law. But anyway, let's not debate. The decision has been made and my decision uh, the stands that we will now entertain a motion. I move to second the motion. Sir, so, uh, mixing advice law, couscous law parliament or sem. You know that need to second the motion now. I'm going to straight. When I'm going over the I'm going to go over Mr. Speaker, me um, say you rule penis, but me like just making one point. When you look at how many times we've, this parliament has sat in the last couple of months, you may differ him, differ him now. You may not make him one plan. After today, we are going to defer again until November. So, one of the things, no, you're not hurrying past them. Be patient. One of the things, Mr. Speaker, when members of parliament argue in public about these matters, the supporters of the government say, take it to the floor. Now we are here, we want to take it to the floor, and we are denied that opportunity. And tomorrow we'll be debating again out in social media, we'll be debating again on the streets. Is that proper, Mr. Speaker? Also, me, me ask him, thing blow you, because their supporters are telling us to argue on the floor. We now have the floor, and we are denied that opportunity again, Mr. Speaker. 
Okay, honorable members, honorable Governor of Louis C.P. called Sam. I'm um, behind him standing order. When a question has been put, up, then uh, you may all right, you finish now. Um, you may entertain a motion. I don't have received him this decision, but you may go back and allow him to debate because the question has been put. Laga. So, all Sam does all now. You may now go straight long motion now. Now, me give you time finish here, yeah? to a point of order, finish now, when point of order can. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, please, you allow me the opportunity. You have made a ruling, and that ruling itself is unconstitutional. You made a ruling, and I, on that ruling, I'm bringing a point of order against your ruling. So, pass me point of order against all moving questions we put. Mm. Now, I'm putting a point of order against your ruling. Finish. Let me rule a point of order now. Thank you. That your point of order is out of order. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I have not completed my point of order. Mr. Speaker, I have not completed my point of order. How can you rule against a point of order? We not finish him yet. You continue. When a point of order you know me like Harim. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, a motion was moved to put the question to deny the opportunity for debate. It was moved. On that basis, I moved the point of order. We don't have a vote yet, Mr. Clark, because that motion is unconstitutional, denying the opportunity for every member to debate a motion. So, you talk standing order, we talk constitution. Constitution, you go pass for standing order. Please, you consult past them on the two black clerk. Now, you got Congress for Supreme Court ruling. It talk finish. Well, member of parliament, he got right. Only pack, polyer, case law, and pull up Supreme Court. Every member has the right under the constitution to move a motion, to debate a motion, and vote a motion. Tupla Kusko start, please you consult him or trust him. Thank you. Honorable, uh, me no finish yet one them honorable uh, member of Medengna, not a point over there like I'm again. Honorable uh, member of Lumedang, you will uh, refer to the constitution on this land. Uh, me yet me no clear, but the spare the last rulings, the court, long, you may run the court, yeah. And the one me parliamentary procedure, and court in an upcoming long, and this is in the parliament. Now, you mean now entertaining this is central parliament based on the standing order, and the speaker has entertained that. So that stands. So, horrible, horrible, uh, member of the meeting, me not give him talk right, lo, you long talk talk yet. No, God. You, you. So, honorable. Honorable member of Lomadang, you resume your seat. I will not allow you to speak again. You resume your seat. The point of order has been addressed. The people of this country has been waiting for this moment. So let us conclude the motion now by voting. Now only like looking result long and why now you may like come now delay now all this land and you want these things to happen. Now I don't get it. So when I'm point of order in the horrible member of Longabao. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. I think we always complain about the procedures of Parliament. Debate is part of that. But unfortunately, Honorable uh, Mr. Speaker, I think you have made a mistake by allowing the leader of government business yeah, yeah. by yeah. moving a motion. But, but the motion is, uh, Mr. Speaker, there is a mover and a seconder. You did not allow the seconder to stand up and second the motion. So you have not complied with a constitutional provision. You should have allowed the seconder to stand, and then we'll, we, you move. The, the leader of government business can move a motion. Thank you. Member of Law Bao, and you plan now to pull him tight in your me. Motion, yeah. 
e companies muba seconda be in mogo the process negolo notice paper now now you may come now it's been called upon so now question has been put so you may like go on uh, debate him this motion through the vote vote by show him vote and by show him now this law when in point of order w thank you mr speaker graciously you your clerks forwarded this paper to me so that i can follow suit and move the motion which i did mm -hmm. and straight under what was given to me these are the words debate may ensure yeah, no. may. may it's here may. yes may. there you go let yes. him let him please what are you plan with me huh? it's there already by you sitting down at the chair, you must make certain that what is written here, debate may ensure. It's in your power to make it happen. Allow debate. It's in your power to it's make it happen. In the country's interest. So me asking you. So we say, stop with this paper, finish. Now, Papa, you give him. Will you give him? Make it happen. Will you make it happen, Mr. Speaker? You need a story. You need a story. I have made a ruling. And if I do this, and by the time ruling the speaker, by God, when I'm not, me behind him like little member all the time. The chair has made a ruling, and I will stand on that ruling that the chair has made. Yes. We have another point of order. Uh, Prime Minister, you know, sir. Nothing come now. Mm. So, me like come back law, standing order blow you yet. How by you manage in this parliament? Rule blame staff in the standing order. So, me like ask him, you, Mr. Speaker, na, or couscous play you, look, 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 order, um, standing order 157. And to call them, a motion not seconded may not be further discussed. And no entry shall be made in the minutes, which means anything which will follow from now on is meaningless. You can't even enter it in your minutes. You got to go through the standing orders, the proper prescribed procedures, allow the motion to be seconded. Mr. Apia, Milulu, stop. You, Mania Haria Prulo, moving. Pulo, closing debate. Now you agree, Lem. Now you look him standing order, finish. Look him 157, standing order. Every discussion we're having now is inconsequential. We can't carry on now. You're killing me that debate now. Go back to the procedure, restore it. Have the motion reintroduced, second it, and we get on with it. Go back to 157, standing orders, your own rules. Okay, uh, honorable member belong uh, Young Amul, Sina Sina Young Amul, point over W, you talk to all the standing order, I'm straight. But the practice, practice before you've been come, coming up now, yeah. And all money, no second, uh, na all same, according to advice, make him not two black black. And all same, time motion, he can make a second up in this. Negolo private business committee, and now comes a notice, second day, stop in this long. 
second day start finish the motion you may put in the notice paper yeah so lord this but suppose you know in me finish first time and then me larry me so what's you know been got this uh this a process law motion you got plenty motion in the second come of paper this is a special case lo be on see so move on a second day start finish the paper now come long notice paper now me all get the I think, uh, no, no point about the U.S. Me not want to entertain the Prime Minister of Assembly. So, Lord, this plan, and practice, you come up now, I'm all same. But now you plan like, I'm not like, Larry, you may go on this plan. But ruling, you may walk in penis. Ah, so you may Larry, I'm all same. Prime Minister, I'm going to point about the W. Mr. Speaker, my, my point about that is to, uh, is to ask you to rephrase. Uh, rephrase that you took the decision upon yourself. There was a transaction of vote that took place. A uh, question be put is a vote transaction. Yes, no. The opposition had every opportunity to no. voice against that division. opportunity for vote no, no. through a process of division in parliament. Mm. But Mr. Moses, if I could, Mr. Speaker, if I could pull back, a further point of order is this is no ordinary motion of parliament that is based on standing order. This is a constitutional motion. The, 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 the prescribed process is read when you read section 145 of the constitution, section 1, subsection, subsection 1 of section 145, subsection 2, A and B, and subsection 2, all prescribes the process. This is a constitutional motion. You're correct in your ruling that it is already on notice with a mover and a seconder. Business of parliament, first business every Thursday, one week when it is on notice, is to go through this motion, Mr. Speaker. You're correct. Excellent. Our Lord Prime Minister, I'm going to order. My point of order is in relation to the Prime Honorable Member of Law, Madam, you have you sit down. Resume him, see you, please. Me no allow me to snap to call upon the problem. You will not debate. You know that the point of order. You like debate the Prime Minister. I'm not that. For now, what I believe out of order. So you talk finish. You may come here. Right people of vote. Now we like entertain him here. Parliament now we like entertain him right to vote. So you may must vote now.
Kayoda, honorable members of parliament, you may be kissing vote for this motion now. Yes. When I'm point over W, because Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, point over W, you get number one time go finish, and now can when I'm point over that can. Mr. Speaker. No, no. We cannot entertain the same point of order over and over again. Mr. Speaker, you are in Bastem. So now we hear it. This is a different point, point of order. Yes. Mr. Speaker, today in this House of the People, you made a ruling saying that what's written in the standing order will not be followed. That's right. What sort of ruling? That's, that's, that's the ruling you just made. You talk. Bami Bladianim Kastom. Bami Bladianim Kastom na light blow to Blamanchi Dano Fante. Mr. Speaker, this is not a banana republic. This is a country called Papua New Guinea, where laws prescribe how we should behave, Mr. Speaker. Point so today, Mr. Speaker, uh, you know, what, Mr. Speaker, today you have basically ruled to stifle, to stifle the voice, the voices of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, I know you people are desperate to go and you know, save a you know, country that's actually on a decline. Order. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. order. Order, 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 order. You will not remember enough. Let him, honorable member, blow up back. Finish your point of order, blow on. The, the people of this country, Mr. Speaker, the people of this country, only pay him salary, blow me, blow. You don't see in a discussing most issues for country. I don't know why we are rushing. I don't know why we are rushing. This is a matter of national importance, and the people need to know why we put in a vote of no confidence, yeah, yeah, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. It's very important. Now, brother from Mipla side too, they need to know why Mipla, you know, think think one kind of Mipla. Maybe Mipla got him good license. Maybe Mipla got him good license. But those need to be made on the floor. This is the house where this is the right forum where our voices need to be made. Wait. Honorable members, we said like him, point over there, you wait past him until him finish, me address him, now we said you let put him, okay? Honorable member, blow back. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, me like him, you know, talking people of country, or something. now, you know, not be an standing order. You will decide based on your own traditions and cultures in this house. That is not written. You have to make known that has to be recorded. That has to be recorded. Otherwise, this vote will not be recognized. You haven't even given the opportunity to the nominee to accept or decline. You better resist now. You better run away go on map. This is the country. And so, Mr. Speaker, I mean, I have no qualms against any of them. Only got him right, losing out in double me in a kind of But, you know, it's good. For us to know, it's good for us to know the reasons. Constitutional. It's constitutional. The right to speak. And also, Mr. Speaker, you, you need to make that ruling right, right now that you've decided not to follow the setting orders. Thank you. Honorable members, let me address his point of order first. Laga. All right, Honorable uh, Member Blowabe. Point of order, you, Samblahab Longani, true, Samblahab, you know, true. I mean, like to call them base law advice when mix him to black couscous or to black clock. And to black talk, you mean, you mean, go on, Sam, now, so what Sam, you are swapping is. And this law, I swap, you mean, I'm repeating can behind time. No. Laga. Me, me, no, finish yet, and you will like sing out, or mommy pass him off, let me sit down now. Larry, me, finish. Ah. So, the base law, this law, me now. But me come back to make him, you play no can bell have here, and all support of the blessed by top speaker, and we know that Sabe Blong and all this. So you may ask what in his. Me come back, but me let him now. Also, you play like him. All right, and we move in motion. Second of Longan, Usak, you second him. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Okay. Thank you, Mr. All right. The Salah and Bamina Bolongan, 
Eu vou lá e 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 eu vou You mean now I'm questioning I'm finished question we put. Manogan. Hormone open member, I cannot bow down to you all the time, remember no gun. You cannot force the chair to bow down to you all. Remember no gun. The question is that the more uh, question be put? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those again say no. No. The eyes of it. Division very come behind. Speaker walking rolling penis. So now, you may entertain your motion now. Now, Papa New Guinea will have him stop. You will like him to say that day, this is the moment he must come up. Now, he can like come up now. Now, all the line, you know, like him, but he must come up now. Pull him, talk, talk yet. So, you may now, all who said, member of the parliament, You want bail when the motion blow opposition leader. Long you no like you no got believe the Prime Minister Marape that you like him honorable rainbow fighter look simple woman. You blow move to the hand kais for me. Stand up. Now go hand kais for me. Now you blow on who said the line. You know want bail when the motion blow opposition leader. Now you blow like him also honorable. Marape, member of the territory, and me Prime Minister of the Union of Papua New Guinea, you send up the movie from the hand suit for me. Move. So that you got space for Namel, so you're not going to power. You send up the Namel, you must got space. So, two black hundred more, uh, two black clap now, you black tell him. All honorable members, now, people of the country, the Papua New Guinea, maybe believe plenty, you walk long watch, the television, harem, the radio, now the display stop. Before me, call him result, the vote, the him in the tete, me just like talk with him. That in any democracies, M number is a bit. Talk out, laga. Number M dictates. No any democracy. So talk talk with me. Go especially with you, me, with public, not this lah. All leaders play blah. They decide finish. Now result, the voting goal same is enough. All who sat, only been one bell, one emotion. No no hamamas, long. Horrible James Marape also Prime Minister Blue Mina Le like him also horrible mem Rainbow Fighter member of Finch Happen M thirty two or triple ten two. All member Usat, all in Ohamamas, long motion motion long opposition leader, now they like him also horrible James Marape member of Tare Pori. And by still subject, Prime Minister Blue Yumi, um, all 75 or 7 plus 10, 5. Yeah. And now, I'm a result. Long. Vote Blue Yumi, where country is start to go long end since February. Now, we come up to the moon, September. Now, you may process him. Now, I'll say, horrible member of the meeting, we'll sing out, then we'll talk round one. Yes, law is still allow him. That's like, and suppose no one bell is up yet, you plow position is still got, that's why rights law law, law bring him, that's why motion can. But you plow must sting him all over the country also, since February come, you may not been walk. Thingy people, you must walk. That money must walk. You may not get the member, must go walk. 
So one time this plan, I'm result to vote to you now, I'm Senator Sam. Honorable Opposition Leader. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Lord Members of Parliament. Lord, you may be an constitution, and you may kiss him, Mr. Vote of Knock Offense Camp. Whatever our differences are, I'm different floor. floor. I'm sorry. Our oh, people blame me, look, look, as I come, the Yumi organ. But first of all, let me take this opportunity to congratulate the member for Taripori and the people of Taripori, the Prime Minister yet again, for the confidence of the House in entrusting you with the 75 votes that you have received today. We may differ, differ, sorry, in opinion, and that's why the 32 stood with us in our beliefs, in our uh, aspirations to replace you. But you still have the confidence of your government, and uh, I would like to congratulate you, Mr. Mr. Prime Minister, for the confidence you have with your coalition partners and the members of your coalition. Mr. Speaker, whilst I am uh, thanking, uh, congratulating the Prime Minister, I would like to further say this, Mr. Speaker. Practices blame me, law, floor, tete, you looking. Now, this is a practice you need pulling going up now needs to be corrected by the chair. Yeah, big point. It needs to be corrected so that one of something you may have members of parliament, now all former leaders blame me, now Papa, Mama blame me, former inside the house, we all been put him inside the standing orders. And the constitution must be respected by us number. In a law, people blame me outside law. Harim Taso was a you may walk in Karangi inside the house now. You may allow Mr. Karangi to continue, Mr. Speaker. We have to correct it. Today must be the last time of you may be behind him practices. Now you may be behind him standing orders of the parliament. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Lodisla, now, I like to talk to Prime Minister Blaney. I have congratulated you with your Deputy Prime Minister and the ministers you have with you. Now, Mr. Speaker, Prime Minister. It is your opportunity, yet again, to do many things correct and right. Mr. Speaker, economy block country and struggle. You must have it. I cannot talk on that, further elaborate on that. The forex of this nation and struggle. Law and order. Law and order, Mr. Speaker. I'm affecting Papua New Guinea. It has affected Papua New Guinea that even our mothers walking down to the markets today are always looking over their shoulders. You may must speak to Mr. Prime Minister. Inflation, the country. Now that's all milk and treasure walk about go out of sight. Time I'm walking speech blame here last week. I'm talking everything is okay. I hope he's really correct. Because KK goods and the services. Price blame will go on top, go on top there. Affecting the people of Papua New Guinea, Mr. Speaker. Fuel cost for that matter, Mr. Speaker. Hospitals, no got drugs. And someone out there will tell me, dear man, let me tell you. On Monday, there's a plane that flew out of Port Mosby to Kiriwina. And good enough. What, what did we load? We loaded drugs from Port Mosby, from Borneo Pacific, into Kiriwina, good enough. Because my people do not have medicines. Mr. Prime Minister, me serve all coalition leaders blow you. I'll talk, talk to you, please. I don't have to elaborate and elaborate and bore you. But please, from the bottom of my heart, I'm begging you and asking you, one time all ministers blow you, change the course of this nation. You know it. I don't have to tell you. But pull us away from where we are and set us in a new course. Let me encourage you, Mr. Prime Minister, that the opposition has given you the alternate policies. If you need a copy, I would come to your office and drop a copy for you. But please look at the alternate policies and work with the opposition. 
I had the speaker telling me once, let's have a bipartisan approach to fix this nation. This is your opportunity. Open up your heart. Your heart is bigger than yourself. Lose him. Some, something where you must lose him. And uh, move forward. If you have to forgive some people in this house, forgive them and move forward, Mr. Speaker. Now, Mr. Speaker, as I stand here to speak to our Prime Minister, major projects are yet to open that you have announced in the last two years, in the last three years. These projects have been delayed and delayed. Unemployment is killing our young people and our people in this country. You have made major announcements. Please allow these announcements to begin to Karim Kaikai Pastor. Mr. Speaker, I am here as the opposition leader. Prime Minister, suppose you need lo talk talk lo We are here to talk to you. I would like to now, on behalf of the opposition, please allow debate or allow us to congratulate the Prime Minister and others from the other side. Now, let me say this. As I congratulate the Prime Minister, I congratulate the caucus, the government caucus. Well done. Awesome uh, speaker talk finish. We may have failed now, but opportunities are there. And I wish you, Prime Minister, all the best. Congratulations again. All the best. And also, I would like to congratulate you and your family. To your good wife, Rachel, Madam Rachel, and to your children, and to the people of Taripuri, and the people of Papua New Guinea as well. The people of Kiruna Guna, that I represent. The people of Milimbe, Namipla Law Potion. Congratulations, Prime Minister, on your real election as the Prime Minister. Thank you. Honorable Prime Minister. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, pass them through me like talk. Thank you, Law. Uh, uh, you, in Sidan, Law, Siena, talk sorry. Suppose Mipla bring him here into disrepute. Law, work with Mipla as a member of parliament. Uh, second, me like talk. Thank you, Law, opposition leader, who was gracious with his use of words and for him to offer support and reach out in this moment where we're supposed to be divided for him to offer consolidation and uh, a symbol of partnership to work for the better of our country. I want to also thank members of my caucus from the government side who remain put to the vision we set in 2019. And so in doing so, Mr. Speaker, in accepting this momentous occasion, uh, firstly, on behalf of Rachel and my children and my people of Taripuri uh, and Pangu Party, I just want to say thank you very much to both sides of the house who have made this contest possible, but the greater wisdom in our government caucus, the uh, entire 48 members from the Pangu Party uh, we have, as well as the coalition partners for your continued support in ensuring that we maintain government. I want to use this time to return focus of the nation on more important things that are at hand. We have now put to rest the issue of, of confidence on the Prime Minister. Our 49th anniversary as a nation is only about four days away. Before I came here, Mr. Speaker, I had two speeches drafted by my officers. One, a congratulations speech if the members of parliament decides to cast vote in favor of the motion. I would have congratulated the member for Finsafen. He's not an uh, unfit and un uh, unsound person. He's a second time member of parliament, qualified in his own right to, to put his hand up. And I, was, I had a speech in preparation to congratulate him. Uh, but I now draw on my second speech, a speech to emphasize to a nation that work must continue on. Our 49th anniversary is only but four days away. Our 50th anniversary as a nation is only 12 months from today. We have pressing issues in law and order, in economy, in health, in education, and building a nation in all other areas. Mr. Speaker, we must not waste any more time. We have squandered months to politicking. Precious time which we could have invested in bettering the lives of our people. What of no confidence, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately has become the recurring theme of every government since independence. I have pointed out many times that the average life of our government since 1975, if we put together, has not been more than two or three years. We have had many changes of government. Whilst the intention of VONC may have been good, but many times it, we have been shortchanged. The opposition always see VO section 145 
as a process of changing government. Uh, Mr. Speaker, may I put to all of us that the great role of His Majesty's opposition is not only to change government, but to sit and offer constructive alternates in every moment. And debate is not only limited to these moments. Debate on any policy matter government puts out, debate on any proposed legislation amendments, or grievance debates, or any time. My government on our side has never gave debate. Earlier today, Mr. Speaker, you never gave debate. When question is being put, the opposition, for instance, has every right to say no and move a dissent. In this parliament, is a house of majority, and you will rule based on majority decisions. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that Section 145 in our country, the provision of Section 145 in our country has often been abused. Has often been abused. If members of this House, members of Parliament who are elected through the Section 50 process, has five years to work as member of Parliament. If provincial governors, as chair of the provincial legislature, has five years to work, the most important chair of the land has 18 months. And managing 18 months of politics and doing work comes at great cost to the progress of our country. Mr. Speaker, the toxicity that is involved in this divisive politics must somehow be put to rest. And I want to appreciate the members of my caucus. The last Thursday, when the present VONC was put on notice, members of my caucus showed absolute ma maturity. We never went into a strict lockdown. We never took phones away from members of parliament. We never checked where they were. We never offered any inducement whatsoever. Members of parliament, members of parliament, Members of and those, Mr. Speaker, those in this parliament today on the opposite who had the pleasure of working with me, or rather me having the pleasure of working with them, knows very well. We don't run around with a checkbook politics. We work and we ask leaders to base their decision on moral conscience, on what is right. And the Section 145 process, Mr. Speaker, allows for choice. And I want to say, those who choose for us to continue on in office, uh, I want to give you a fullest assurance that in our nation of a thousand tribes, this side of the House will not be conscious of where members of Parliament sit, but service delivery will go to all our people as one people, one nation, one country. Members on the other side are fully assured. Even you sit on the other side, what is your entitlement? Whether you de deliver or province deliver, or national government deliver based on our policy programs, we will make sure what is meant for all parts of our country is spread fairly right across this nation of a thousand tribes. Mr. Speaker, today we must demonstrate oneness. We must demonstrate oneness. We must, and our government pledge that we are a government for our people. We are a government that is by our people. Pangu received Section 63 mandate at the elections. Not too, not too long ago, Section 63 mandate at the elections. You want to run government, contest elections, get the invitation, Section 63 invitation, and run government, sound your policies. But I want to give assurance to everyone, this mandate will not be abused. This mandate is for people of all parts of our country. We will work to ensure the aspirations of the fathers of our country remains fixed. The aspiration is that no place be left behind. Every place be prospered. And I want to give full assurance to all part of our country. Does not matter where your members sit, this government will ensure the work that we've started must continue. And I want to, Mr. Speaker, indicate some of the work that we've started since 2019. The path of progress since 2019 will continue. Mr. Speaker, just for emphasis, when we took office in 2019, our economy was in recession. Central Bank 36 is there for every one of us to read. 2018 final budget outcome is a treasury document. 2018 final budget outcome was not by, done by Marape government. It was done by the past government. 2018 final budget outcome indicates negative 0.3% recession our economy was in. Mr. Speaker, from this backdrop, we started and first and foremost on this side of the house, we want to grow our economy. Economy, 
The health of our economy means we have enough to serve our people in all other essential services. So to make our economy grow, we have not been silent. We fight to take back more from our resources. There's a clear difference between me and the leadership I took over from. The leadership I took over from had no interest in fighting to take back more from our people. They had no interest. You may got point of order. Honourable Member of the Yellow Book, Pangea, and point of order, you. I mean, what the Prime Minister is, uh, is alluding to are false and he knows it. Mr. Speaker, this is a vote of no confidence in him that was mooted. All he should do is be gracious enough to acknowledge that the country is not going along in the right path. Uh, stop criticizing and grandstanding on issues, which, which it's debatable, as you know, that, Mr. Speaker. So the Prime Minister should refrain from making false uh, statements that are misleading the nation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, on record, when we took over in 2019, the economy was a 79.6 billion kina economy. Today, on record, the economy has gone past 111 billion kina economy. First thing we put to our country. You may got Narlop. Mr. Speaker, I think this law, you may need to correct him. Whilst the Prime Minister may be right, the real measure of economic growth is not what the figures he is using. He is using uh, gross GDP figures. The actual number is what's called a nominal GDP. And even in the recent uh, report from the IMF, our nominal GDP has declined. Nominal GDP is measured after you remove inflation and all of the other negative factors from the growth in the economy. So once you remove all of that, actual growth in the economy is negative, Mr. Speaker. So you know, good law, Prime Minister, I mean, using this plan. All gross uh, GDP figures, and I mean, no use in nominal GDP. He needs to use nominal GDP when he was speaking about GDP growth. Good one. You may get another point of order again, Honorable uh, Minister. Mr. Speaker, I think the Prime Minister is referring to the size of the uh, economy, not the growth rate. Thank you. Honorable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we can sit here and argue on and on on the economy, but I'm just stating some facts that is out there. Some numbers. If you want to measure in the quantum, I'm talking about a quantum, the envelope. And I want, if the, and I want to, uh, Mr. Speaker, also the member for East Pacific Regional, the member for East Pacific Regional, that this government for the first time was being an expens expansionary in our uh, pursuit to grow the economy, we've given the biggest ever household treatment and relief package to our people. We've given biggest. We paid more school fee than any, any other governments of past. We've given help more from elementary to university than any other governments of past. We've removed tax from more brackets of low income earning people than any other governments of past, Mr. Speaker. That is to ensure that we fill in the gap as he correctly alluded to, Mr. Speaker. But at a quantum on record. And this is based on a vision we said in 2019. At the very earliest, if not at 2029, we must hit a 200 billion kina economy. When we hit the 200 billion kina economy, any trespass into the future, maybe the uh, regional member of WIWEC or uh, uh, can become trespassed into the future, uh, he will then have a bigger economy to shape and model, to shape and model growth of our country. All right. Uh, honorable Prime Minister, sorry, you mean not allow me to Honorable Governor of the we just like making one comment with your chair like Tokol Shem. You may learn Prime Minister walk him a statement on or finish him. And you sat, you like debate him. You can debate him on the media. On the next parliament, you may come debate him today. And you want to learn him this layer. And you may want to debate now. You are debating back and forth. Point of order, you are debating back and forth. It's not right. I will allow the Prime Minister to conclude his statement, Pastor. And whatever you like, like debate him. You can debate it on the media, you can debate it whenever the parliament meets again. Yes. No, me not wrong. Me not wrong. Yes. It is, it is, you wait, Pastor. Let me. It is now seen as a tirade back and forth. Oh. Allow him to conclude his uh, statement first. Mr. Speaker, can I make a point of order? Yes, you can now make a point of order. I've made my point. My point of order was to correct the facts, not to debate his. his, his uh, I wasn't debating. I was correcting the facts. The other thing is, and there's no need for the Prime Minister to then turn back and talk Bilas Kamlo, this aside. Because he is the Prime Minister. People listen to him. 
And if he, if he says something that is erroneous, Olman by thing is straight. For example, he said that GDP growth was negative 0.3%. Uh, I have a copy of the actual uh, Treasury final budget outcome here. And between 2018 and 2019, GDP grew from 75 billion to 82 billion. So it was a growth of 9%, Mr. Speaker. All I'm asking is for the Prime Minister to be factually correct when he is using figures. That's all I'm asking. Because time I'm talk minus 3%, all the man by thing I'm true. But FBO report here, I'm talk 9% growth here. So just, just so that he can be careful with the use of numbers, Mr. Speaker. That does yeah. On wait, when a point of what I can you wait past them? You mean now? I mean, Honorable Mayor, Governor of Louis I'm giving point of what I'm going to talk about figures for them. Prime Minister, you will talk about figures for Central Bank, now, uh, Bank, now this lot. So everybody's talking about figures, and we will keep on debating about figures. <laughs> no, but you mean stop debating the figures all the time, back and forth? Allow him to conclude his statement, and then you like talk with him now. So, Tresera, when I'm point of what I'm again. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And that's what point I, I, of I don't want to go into a protracted uh, discussion on the economy today, because it's not the time. The practice is the leader of the opposition uh, provides his response, the Prime Minister can then uh, give his response and then we can all leave, now go back by the mama. But Prime Minister, before I, before I sit down, um, just for the record, Mr. Uh, Speaker, Honourable, Honourable uh, Treasurer, hello. Honourable Treasurer. Honourable Treasurer. Honourable Treasurer. Honourable Treasurer. Honourable Treasurer. Rouse him this last statement, go find him, Mama. <laughs> Rouse him. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. All right. Honorable, uh, Bobby, allow me to point over W, but please. Talk him, talk, talk, make him. Yes. Uh, Prime Minister, time you meet, talk, go find him, Mama, Lord Nips. He means to send me go back to the house now. Sit down, good man, tell me. Laka. You know what, Narpla meaning. Lock, correct him. Rouse him. But, uh, so me, uh, reluctantly rouse him. This not talk no. about. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, long, uh, straight him out, talk, talk, here, just for the record, because today, country, he walk the Uh, friend, blow me, governor, blow Sipik, and me talk about some nominal GDP decreased, uh, and me see on team FBO, so, by me use him, same FBO, final budget outcome, the treasury, the nominal GDP did not decrease, it increased. FBO was 111 billion, 351 million kina, Mr. Speaker, projected to increase to 123.27 uh, billion kina. So that's an increase of over 11 billion kina. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the record and for hands up. Thank you, Tomas. Honorable, before Milare, Honorable Prime Minister, I finish more statement to talk to long end. I like to talk to all honorable members of them. No can use some point of order you debate. You mean like debate, you got time to debate. Tete, and by giving talk talk long end, but last one man, me look so long end, give him talk talk long end, candidate. You know, good, I remember, but I'm giving talk long end. But you make this care Honorable Prime Minister. All right, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sorry, I'll him time to parliament. But me like talk to them. Number one, focus on me plus since 2019. I'm not turning big plus sip or call him MVP and G. Well, no long, and we run long place for economy, put on, you go finish. And Mr. Speaker, you long place numbers, you clear. But turning big plus sip, you don't have to make him full 360 degree turn right away. You make it 360, 360 degree turn right away, sip back upside. If like easy, sit turn in pace long economy, come back to a right place where you must grow in economy. When we took over economy in 2019, it was that bad. We sent straight into COVID-19, once in a hundred year disaster. We maintain stability. We borrow cheaply. We ensure we put to money right through the length and breadth of our country. My brothers on the opposite will confirm that every of the district did receive support from my government. We never discriminate. We never discriminate. The member for Abao is able to open up, open up our schools in his district because we support him and supplied him with the fundings as, as a point of reference. And we will continue to supply so. If it has come. <laughs> 
Honorable Prime Minister, you may get Narla point over the can and maybe we'll point over the whole day now. Honorable Member Blaba, point over the place. Prime Minister always mentions Abba when he's upset on the floor. <laughs> so something must have happened. <laughs> but uh, I can tell the Prime Minister that uh, since we've been debating this matter, Abba has not received any funds yet. Thank you. Honorable Prime Minister, you uh, have a position on my point of order, Honorable Member Blabao. All right, thank you. Uh, and I, I register the issue raised by the Member for Abao. I want to give assurance to everyone we are not incognizant to the need to grow our economy. At a population that has grown above the economic growth rate, the sustainability of the economy was not there. And so we made it our number one focus that our economy must hit 200 billion kingdom threshold at the very earliest. That's why we took back 51% from Pogra. That's why we're negotiating better deals in Wafi Golku, in Pasca, in Pinyan, and all the other resource projects we engage upon. That's why, Mr. Speaker, I want to indicate to this House, this government, the coalition here, next year onwards, our conversation on every lock to be domesticated in our country for no run-lock export will be implemented. Our fisheries minister right now, Mr. Speaker, is working on fish domestication policy, meaning every catch we catch in our country must be brought back in our country. Funnel to our special economic zones, PMIJ, for instance. And that process is moving, so we create employment. Mr. Speaker, growing economy has been this government's major focus, number one focus. Because economy pays the bill, not politics. Economy pays the bill, not politics. Mr. Speaker, whilst we grow the economy and focus on rechanging the landscape in which we harvest the resources, a clear, distinct difference between this side and that side. They've got no clear, concrete policy on how they will get back more from our resources. No clear policy. And, Mr. Speaker, we will continue working in that space. On the education sector, Mr. Speaker, last five year, we black like kissing back over 100,000 bikini pennies. Stop the street. Second chance learning, kiss him over 100,000 bikini come back. Long matriculation, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. All this little bikini go, go to school. We black like walk long expanding space for university going up to 30,000. People also find him some space long outside in the Salim, the best brains in our country, go to school outside, walk long, expand him space for education and we start. Walk long, make him so health facility, believe me, and we are working with our provincial health authorities, giving them money. They come up with a clear, concrete plan to ensure 22 plus housing is stopped long 21 province, believe me, in the Bougainville region. Specialist housing, Mr. Speaker, when I took office in 2019, I said by 2025, we must not export medical patients to overseas. I want to stand here today and say that Port Mosby General Hospital is almost completed in our cancer facility and our specialist care for heart is almost complete now as I speak, Mr. Speaker. We have not just been talking. In the present circumstances, stopping politics with the right hand, we are doing work with the left hand, Mr. Speaker. And I want to give assurance to our people of this country. These leaders sitting here, they saw the best endeavors we were doing. Connect PNG, Mr. Speaker. Since when did Kaintiba think about road being punched into Kaintiba? Since when? Since when, Mr. Speaker? My senior, my senior brother, Governor Havet, on the other side, know that one Sunday we jumped on a helicopter, unbeknown to everyone, we flew into Kaintiba. They came out and they greeted us in 2020. They cried and we said, Kaintiba road is coming. Whilst today it may not be a fleshy four wheel and highway as we built in Port Mosby. But road from the Morobe side and road from the Gulf side is approaching country as we speak. The remotest part of our country have been locked behind for so long, Connect PNZ. Whilst many accuse that it's a fun program, I want to give you the fullest assurance. You wanted the work secretary to be changed, we changed the work secretary. The investigation is going on. We are a transparent government making sure. If we say change, we say change. The member for Yellow Pangia mounted off in this house that it is a scam happening. We have to remove the hard-working work secretary to ensure we do investigation and put new leadership into the space. Mr. Speaker, connect PNG. What is? Minister, in his uh, in a grandiose speech, but you know to mislead again Parliament that I asked for the second of the secretary, it is wrong. I asked you to account for the contracts that you gave to your relatives. I ask you for the account of the minister paying private expenses out of those accounts. Now get to the real point. Stop misleading the country and our people. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the member for Yalupangia 
has the uh, you know media for his disposal. He's always been using the media and everything else. He can debate this at his own time and time and choosing. Uh, we're telling him exactly what happened. Works was brought into question, and we've made changes at the works department. We investigate investigating that place. We are not running a small program for one man. It is a program that is meant to unbundle the circles of isolation our people have been for the last 49 years. Mr. Speaker, so Connect PNG is trying his best, not just on roads, but we will overlay with ports, airports, power. Mr. Speaker, you go up to Edavu. Today we have a 132 kVA line delivering 54 megawatts of power from Edavu into Port Mosby. It was not done before. That's an investment of 110 million kina this government invested in PNG power. So, Mr. Speaker, work is happening as we speak in the infrastructure sector. On the law and justice sector, we've started training, and I want to commend Deputy Prime Minister and the ministers in the law and justice sector space. They've worked very hard. This government delivered independent commission against corruption. You have an issue against James Marape, report to ICAC. The experts running that organization. Report to ICAC. The experts running that organization. Report to Ombudsman. We're working to strengthen our court system. For the first time, a major reform has taken place in our court system, isolating Supreme Court to handle constitutional matters, in setting the appeals court, and restoring independence of national court from a direct work link with Supreme Court. This is happening as we speak. Bombana police training has been reopened. We envisage to bring police to a 10,000 men police force at the very earliest. Training has started again after not being trained or not being utilized for training for many, many years. Mr. Speaker, this and many more work remain. We've activated our foreign relationships like never before, and all foreign relations with us. No, we don't compromise. Our friends to all and enemy to none, standing and policy. And in our work with our foreign relations, we've told them, Mr. Speaker, not aid and grant, but trade. That is why we created a specific trade ministry to work on elevating and ramping up trade with these nations we relate with, as well as ensuring that we produce more to supply to this market. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to bring, to, uh, bring my conversation to a conclusion. Uh, we have no time for politics. We played politics for so long. It is about time we come, and I want to appeal to all of us, time for us to work together. When the fathers of our country, when the fathers of our country forge this nation into one sovereignty, the most diverse nation on the face of planet Earth, with over 800 languages and its own set of governing structures for these respective communities. They force us into one sovereignty. They never envisage that fragility will be so much abound in 2024. I want to call all of us as we come face to face with our 49th anniversary next week. And as we move into our 50th anniversary next year, work together is a theme I call for us today. Work together, coming together. And in oneness, let us work for our country, for greater work remain, and must be met with greater sense of earnestness and more sense of agency as we face our challenges that are before us. I want to give commitment to our country, this government. Uh, we will not rest. We work long hours. We will continue to work so that we meet our challenges and fix them despite the many obstacles that we are faced with. We must not depend on others. We must not depend on others. For instance, Australia will not come back to us and help us fix our problem. We must fix our problem ourselves. And it deserves, or it demands rather, leaders on both sides, public servants in the workforces, private sector, our businessmen, businesswomen. We're putting more money into our banks for borrowing. And it, it really baffles me when young Papua New Guineans don't want to pursue business as an option in life. We want to assist our students better. And tomorrow I'll be addressing our students at the University of PNG. We will indicate to them our work to ensure we embrace students better as we go forward into the future. So I appeal to all people, public servants, leaders, businessmen, businesswomen, our people, our students, we put PNG first. It's about time we must put PNG first. And I want to point to one area. If you do not know where to put PNG first, my speaker and my members of parliament, the easiest, the best place we can put PNG first is by respecting the rule of law in our country by respecting the rule of law in our country. All of us, all of us must respect the rule of law. The Pangolet government remains committed to ensure we fight for a better PNG, but all our citizens and all our people must really to respect each other and work together with, with each other. We will build, we will get better, 
we will become stronger as we emerge from the economic and political storms of our country. As the saying goes, smooth seas never skill a sailor. As the saying goes, smooth skills, smooth seas. Smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. So somebody from the coast know this. We came through the last storms, and these storms have made the sailor more skilled. I want to thank the people of this country. Remain focused. Your leaders have spoken. We are doing our absolute best for each and every one of you, wherever you are. And I want to say, and as I stand here and speak, in the face of our country's independence, I was moved when a woman in the Minyama Mountains, in the Kaintiba Mountains, saw a vehicle for the first time approaching her remote village. I was moved when I saw a young man who made 400,000 kina profit for his cooperative group from the mountains of Tewai Siasi. He left his agricultural workstation, went back home, mobilized cooperative, and he told his story at the Apex House that he made 400,000 kina in 2021. <clears throat> People are waking up there. For those who don't want to work and play politics, it's your business. But for those out there who want to work, I ask all of us, let us soldier on and let us work on. People like me, I live at the top of the pinnacle, and I am okay to receive insults and arrows and words that is howled at me time and time again. But I want to give commitment to our people. I will not, I will not stop from doing what is right for our country. Criticize you can, but work, work I will do. And I appeal to all of us, let's unite, work together, work one one time, raka about. Let me conclude by wishing each and every one of you a Blessed celebration on the 49th anniversary of our country. I propose that all of us have this, take this team to our respective constituency. Let's reconcile and unite as one people, one country, one nation. On our side, we give commitment to our brothers and two sisters on the other side. We don't see you from an enemy perspective. We see you from a leadership perspective. You're doing your constitutional role. You're doing your constitutional role. And I ask you, don't use the section 145 for deconstruct of our country. That's it, section 145, and the mandate you have as His Majesty's opposition to contribute and construct our country for the better. Let's unite for the better of this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All honorable members, question be put, it comes to song. By look no good, so was me no larium. Honorable member of the Prince Hapen, I also candidate and can make talk. So, honorable member of the Prince Hapen, you, Balas Flaman, you want to talk to the Finnish for me. And come no question be put. Thank you, Honorable Member of Pinsapen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, Mr. Savello. People of Pinsapen, Mr. Flo. Uh, Mr. Speaker, me like Rice. Uh, firstly, Lord, thank him. Uh, the 32 plus members on this side who have voted for me uh, this morning. Uh, Mr. Speaker says, me no talk, thank you. Uh, this is the honor and privilege you are giving me as an alternate Prime Minister on this floor. And me, Babarabi, Bell, Blamas, for people, district, and provinces will represent him. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, me Rice, Lord, thank you. Uh, for that rare privilege of uh, being the alternate nominee on this floor to challenge our government in this process we may administer today. Yeah, and yeah, for that, yeah. thank you to look for uh, Number two, Mito, thank you, Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as I look across the floor, it is the first time uh, ever since he ascended into being a Prime Minister in 2019 that I find myself on this side not supporting him in his ascension. Mr. Speaker, I've always stood behind him in every occasion of the way supporting his 10 years Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on record, I see a lot of leaders who we <coughs> congregated together. And Mr. Speaker, you know, Mrs. Um, Prime Minister Itogosem, the motion of no confidence, sir, Mr. Speaker. We utilized the provision, uh, Prime Minister, through you, Mr. Speaker. When we wanted to change the government, few of us assembled around you with the ideals that we have that we could make things better. Some of us believed in the dream. That's why we associated with you. In the likes of um, late member for Guelela, uh, William Sam, I find the Deputy Prime Minister sitting there. Few of our colleagues who are still seated on this floor. We believed in his leadership. Let me put support him. We broke ranks. We broke party lines. We broke relationships. Brotherhood. Everything that was on the mark, we broke to support him to be Prime Minister, and we gave him the mandate on the floor Through in 2019. 
That was a democratic process we admitted on the floor. The same process we have now. Yeah. He became prime minister through the same process of a creature of the VONC. Mr. Speaker, no. time, now Mr. Nabos is directly opposing um, his leadership, and I see a lot of our colleagues on that side. And Mr. Prime Minister, we like congratulating you on your affirmation of your leadership today. The essence of our country is that we are a very beautiful country, and I don't need a unique democratic country, which means majority rules, minority still has the right to speak on this floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now. And now we look at 72 members on this side of the house, that side of the house, we are affirming their commitment to you, Prime Minister. 75, correction. 75, he gave him full mandate to Prime Minister. When we started this journey of a leadership, we sit down the triumph of the of UNC. Now, time we got Sierra Leone and we look at him, 32 member on the other side, he voted me. 70, um, 74, 75 on this side voted you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, one of the smartest men who ever lived on planet Earth, Albert Einstein, once said that. Politics is more difficult than physics. Physics is a very hard subject. I studied physics in high school and uni. It's a very difficult subject. Most, most people don't understand physics. But he was able to say politics is more difficult than physics. And Mr. Speaker, I, I understand it now. That <laughs> politics is more difficult than physics. Sometimes you find friends or convenience on one side. Enemies become friends. Friends become enemies. It's the nature of the game we, we play on this floor, Mr. Speaker. Now, time you look at Mogara member, time you meet a feminine leadership, long prime minister. Me plot was inside, me plot to Nogara, and me plot stop here. Mr. Prime Minister, you got full confidence. What does that confidence give you? What does that confidence give you? It gives you an opportunity to work to do right. and to do the, the right. call you said, a united front. And Mr. Speaker, me like step back or some alternate nominee, me like to go some. When we started to challenge government, some of us had a differing view. A lot of our friends shared that view on this floor. A lot of our friends on this floor. Some of us had a conviction to move. Some stayed. Now we look at no God. Over the money, we want belong. It is simply Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when the country is watching, we are about to turn 50. That politics must stop. If your conviction is that you have voted the Prime Minister on this floor, tomorrow you're not going to complain. Right. Yeah. You're not going to complain tomorrow. I can understand. No can gossip around your night and make politics. Yeah. Suppose you give him support you know, Prime Minister, stand with it on this floor. Yeah. Now your country you look at me, you're not going to vote in Prime Minister, yeah? Huh? You're not going to vote in Prime Minister. So you must support in Prime Minister all the way, Mr. Speaker. Huh? This is like a passing the political night meeting, the sun meeting, that is like, I must stop. You may call him country, you may call him union. Oh, scrap him, I'm not going to be You may call him country, you may call him union. Mr. Speaker, so now that we've seen the majority of our members on this floor, majority of our members on this floor supporting Prime Minister, we must be true to our vote and what we stand for in this house. We must be very true. You may not going to vote here, and tomorrow you may go to the house. Prime Minister may vote, but PIDM will give him here. Road blame me go say Prime Minister me go say me me go say VNC alive it. Why me go say? Why me go say on the floor? Yeah. If you are giving your people's mandate, if it's the mandate of your district that now you have displayed on this floor and have given it to the Prime Minister, you must mean what you vote on this floor. That's it. Yeah, some of you are saying, of course, but we all know. Huh? We all know the nature of this game. Mr. Speaker, we must mean what we say. We must mean what we say. We must be honorable men, Mr. Speaker. The first title that we get when we enter this house is not Joe Pumat, it's Honorable Joe Pumat. That honorable name must mean something on this house. This honorable name must mean something on this house. I challenge all the members on this floor, 74 of you who have voted for the Prime Minister, 75, you must mean what you say. You must mean what you say. Mr. Speaker, you must mean what you say. Tomorrow, Logan Olim, Prime Minister Lorenz Semblo, PIP, Blinato, Prime Minister. Me vote him, you Semblo, Flosso. Money, blow me, come. You know, leader. You know, leader. Politics are making the Prime Minister foul. Me manage politics or me manage country? Me making one of them. 
Suppose you believe that you believe the leadership, and now you believe you mandate. Me believe number eight. You promise me what you say on this floor. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, me talk because for plan when we look him, how he is making politics or this la house. We should lose this title, honourable. Yeah? We are not honourable men on this floor. We should lose this title. Let me call him first name. Call me Rainbow Peter. If we are honourable men, we must mean what we say on this floor. And it must mean to this country as well. It must mean something, Mr. Speaker. Tell us, let me look government now. Tell us, let me look government. Prime Minister, you have full majority support of this house. Of this house. You must be bigger than the Prime Minister, who you are. Plant the leader on this side. Some strong leader is stopped. Some of fit money is stopped. When you go to the 50th anniversary, Prime Minister, you must look beyond and imagine the country. When you take this country forward, it does just not be just the people who vote for you, but people who share opposing view on this side as well. Yeah. yeah. One Prime Minister once said, a yes, yes government is a very dangerous government. Therefore, you must have different views. It is the spirit of any democracy. Yeah. For people to say, no, I don't trust this. I don't believe this. Because if everyone says yes, you will have you will have opened down. Someone must oppose and have a different view. Now, when we turn, Prime Minister, my challenge to you, you have said, we must rise above this politic, rise above this occasion, rise above every pop, uh, personality <coughs> clashes you make at the floor, and try to forge, in the words of uh, opposition leader, we talk, bipartisan approach. Because the issues of a country will not run away, because we are doing what we're doing, they will still be there since heaven and earth, since even Adam, they're still there and will be there tomorrow. How do we fix them? Law and order, economy, jobs, jobs, everything that you may talk. We may assume on many things on this floor, Mr. Speaker, but fact is that life is getting hard. Life is getting hard. And that needs a bipartisan, a united front to confront all those challenges. Mr. Speaker, sec, last challenge will be long, Prime Minister. Prime Minister, now you give full support, full support of this House. Majority of our leaders have affirmed your tendership as Prime Minister, giving you confidence. And the challenge you're making, Kabdo Miplo, we must at least stop politicking. The Prime Minister will be like challenging you. You must be decisive. You must be very firm and decisive. Prime Minister, suppose some of money not making work. You must rouse him, Mr. Minister. Yeah. You must rouse him, Mr. Minister. Yeah. And appoint someone, because every time people are blaming you. Everyone is blaming you. And we have to blame you, because we give you that power to appoint ministers. It's the delegated function. So if one minister is looking at your bed, everyone will not call the ministers and they will say James Marape is doing it. Honorable James Marape is doing it. Prime Minister, I challenge you to be firm, decisive, and hard. The country demands it. The country demands it. With that, me talk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Look, give you look, seven, look, me. Look, people, look, me, look, fix seven. Me talk. Thank you, true. Uh, look, borrow, me talk. Thank you, true. Prime Minister, thank you. Deputy Prime Minister. People have worked before. Me talk. Thank you. Now, me sit down here. Um, me plus some people must sit down here. Look, me oppose some views so that we have a healthy democracy. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, one day, Mr. Speaker, me congratulate him. Prime Minister again. People, look, Tari Pori. Pangu Party, na harpla coalition, you plus stop. You plus give him mandate, Pinisha. Full mandate, you plus give him. You must mean what you say, and we must mean what we say on this side. If you don't, you may go Simon, Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, take you through. We talk sorry, suppose any of our actions and behaviors have called uh, uneasy feeling, Lord. People blame your country. You may go towards independence. We talk sorry. This provision is enacted in our constitution. Not looking, we can vent him, question him that leadership or anything was in the citizen. So one thing, Mr. Speaker, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me congratulate him. Government side, the happy Independence Day, you know what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, all honorable members, before me, honorable members, on dog at point of order, honorable members, harem speaker past them, harem speaker past them, harem speaker past them, harem speaker past them. Before me entertaining point of order, uh, this la, not point of order, but question be put. Me like to also. This la man you will make him speak here. Em true true name lo anol to pass him out. Em you don't have some ablo flow also you will na debate. Na talking when I'm thinking representing people lo anol country no gan. So this la time mix him this la opportunity lo man you make him comment lo me. Pass lo this la thinking you become long hein. Uh, behind mommy entertain him question be put uh, you uh, you black at all the time no talk talk me got to black talk no walk him all honorable members the slow you may come here and you may come main walk you may pass him law send him law all this
Des la section 145 lo country blo yumi lo lo blo yumi lo mama lo milek la rimo ndi bibla na ko ting ting lo man. You bla ting emi ko pla lo country. Honorable member blo yale bu pangia emi experience emi nis. Now honorable member blo tari pori James Mara pe bolo experience emi. Na to mara member blo pin chapen. Honorable Paida you by you come long and by you experience emi. Me just lah rem this lah, lo ting ting, lo ibla all the horrible house. Time you me walk lo approach him fifty years, lo this lo country lo kemak, lo independence half a century. Me believe next year by me celebrate him this lah, na time or lakun lo me go, one them grand chief says Michael Sumare, time only been like him na kemak na independence you mix him plan ibla me been sumatin lo this lah time. We believe we can talk only talk him long end. Now all same. You think about country blue, you look in 50 years. Blue independence. That's the question, yeah. Me like Larim, you may walk out of this house. Suppose you may talk, you may nationalist. You may think people in the country blue, you may. Talk, talk, and Prime Minister walk him. My member, look in Japan, you walk him now, yeah. Horrible opposition leader, too. Me like Larim, this house, you know, you know. Who said he must come past? Or people blame him in the country? Or you me? Prime Minister has given me a good look at you me all get a lot of this So one them this plow. Me now, like, come on this question be put now. Honorable Governor Blomorbe, me sabe you represent him big la province through. That's all me must entertain him this question be put. So the question is now that the question be now put. Those in favor say aye. Aye. The eyes have it. No. Come on, Abla Morabe. When I'm point of what Abla you. Where is temple put? You put him go, but you are in the point of order. When a point of order, you. Time motion come on this floor. Now you may deal with the motion. It's a very important constitutional motion. Very important. Also now. Also now. Motion come through behind him standing order. You may deal with him this motion. Now, members, Mr. Speaker, you got right. You got right, Lord Talk Talk. Long maiden speeches. Not just the candidate, long board of no confidence. Now, candidate, long man by defending Boston Long M, Prime Minister. Maiden speeches, Lord, support him on both sides must be open. Now, me, we're going to look at you, Speaker. With the greatest respect, you're going to use Speaker. Speaker, you umpire blown this parliament. Now, you, you are going to force him, leader of the government business, long put him point of order. You have no right by the standing order. Long talking, leader of government business, long put him point of order. Question be put. Now, you, you make him disturb, and you stop him right long, all members from both sides of the parliament. Both sides of the parliament. Long, Give him commendation, long Prime Minister, reappear, even through the vote of no confidence. All long Governor talk. Blomorabe. Thank you. Honorable Thank you. Governor Blomorabe, when I'm point of order, you? You want to debate? When I'm point of order, you? Uh, Mr. Speaker, point of order. Um, awesome. You don't have power, long asking one plus member, long put him, question be put. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Honorable, uh, Honorable Governor Blomorabe, point of order, you me out of order. <laughs> We not been asking all and um, Parliament yet he give him point uh, question be put. So speaker I must entertain him. Naga yeah. Now I may entertain him finish. Yeah. Huh? Mr. Clark Notice the member for National Capital District gives notice that this help. 
Based on the bill for an act to amend the National Capital District Commission Act 2001. Leader of the government business. Mr. Speaker, I move that the parliament at its rising adjourn until Tuesday 26th November at 2 o'clock p.m. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. <laughs> Leader of government business. Mr. Speaker, I now move that parliament do adjourn. Now do adjourn. <laughs> The question is that the motion be agreed to those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say no. no. The ayes have it. Honorable members, Parliament now is adjourned to 26 November at 2 p.m. <laughs>